hope everybody's keeping busy. I am going to read you my daughter's favourite book, Eric the Red. It's an action-packed maths adventure. Shall we see? Ooh, lots of numbers. Eric the Red by Caroline Glitzman. Eric is a very unusual bear. For one thing, Eric is red. Very red. So red that he glows in the dark. And Eric is very, very clever, especially with numbers. He even dreams about numbers. He likes counting things on his way to work. This morning, you might have to help me with this one. He counted two yellow lorries, four bears fishing, six red cars, eight boats on the river, ten flags flying, and a number 12 bus. <gasps> so lots of things. Eric has a very important job at the Big Bear's Bank. Every day he counts all, all the bank's money and puts it in the big safe. Then he thinks of oh, a new set of numbers for the lock and closes the safe tight. Eric is the only bear who knows the numbers. Look at that. Every so often, Eric helps at the front count of the bank. He doesn't like working there because sometimes badly behaved bears laugh at his red fur. Then he wishes he was at home eating lots of honey and doing bigger and bigger sums on his computer. But today the first customer had such kind friendly eyes that Eric didn't mind. My name is Erica, she said. I would like to start saving. <gasps> Something is going to happen. <gasps> Vroom! Just then, an ice cream van burst through the door of the bank and two polar bears jumped out. Erica gasped. <gasps> Everyone freeze! Shout the first bear. He gave Eric a note. It said, give us all the money now. Eric didn't like being told what to do. Without thinking, he growled at the first polar bear. Growl! The polar bear was so surprised that he stepped back, slipped on the ice like lolly and The second bear grabbed Erica, jumped over the glass screen and spun Eric round and round on his chair so fast. Tell me the numbers to open the safe, Tomato Face, he shouted. Or I will have this little bear for elevenses. Eric's head spun, millions of numbers whirled around in his head. How would he remember the ones he needed to save Erica? You've got five seconds, shouted the bear. Five, four, three, two. Oh, my head. Wait, gasped Eric. That is it. Two. The two times table. The numbers I saw this morning. Two, four. The polar bear dropped Erica and started turning the lock on the safe. Six, eight, ten, continued Eric. But his head was spinning so much that he couldn't remember the last number. What could it be? Twelve, said 
said Erica. Suddenly, the safe opened and the polar bear started grabbing the money as fast as he could. Soon, he was right inside the safe. Eric's head stopped spinning. He helped Erica to her feet and slam! They shot that bad polar bear inside the safe. Wah, 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 wah. Five police bears rushed in and arrested the first polar bear, who was still lying dazed on the floor. You caught them red-handed, said Erica. She gave Eric's paw a gentle squeeze. I couldn't have done it alone, said Eric. Suddenly, he noticed the math book that Eric was holding in her paws. You like maths too, he said. I have never met another bear who liked numbers, said Erica. Eric glowed very red. Wouldn't it be fun to do sums together, said Erica. Eric grinned. Yes, twice as much fun, he said. And that, boys and girls, is the end of the story. Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Anders here. I have a challenge for you. Can you count in twos to 12? See you soon.